you go to themes section. Whenever you add any theme, it will just get listed out here. So I have just added a mainly theme. So for that, what do you need to do? You want to select what do you want to make a default theme for your website and just enable it and use the CSS of the configuration of this theme. So I just selected a theme and I said save my settings. It is just applying the theme which I have selected. Okay, this is almost there with my uh, layout style. So I can go to the page and then I can see yes, it is somewhere. So, but I still don't like these uh, default uh, theme style, whatever color combination they are having. So, what you can do, you can just target your theme folder and you can make the changes because everything related to look and feel is stored in your theme folder. Theme folder is basically theme always a theme is basically depends on three to four things. First is the info. Info will give you like what all regions, a block, a sections are there in your theme. What all styles and JavaScript things you are adding, the information, the name of your theme. Apart from the template.php file where you will define a pre uh, a pre html pre templating things like before loading a page you want to define or you want to put some color or uh, have in some different style and all and uh, some tpl file so main tpl file is a page tpl.php file where you will define or you will give your whole html for your drupal site in which you will define which region to display where. So let's quickly have a look to all these uh, files and all and just discuss with the, uh, each and every. Now as I said, we are using this mainly theme. This mainly themes, whenever using or if you are creating your own theme, what do you need? You need to have info file. If you will just have info file and if you won't enter anything, what it is going to do? It is going to take the default setting from your Drupal theme and then rest you can just keep adding. So here, uh, your Marini info file which will just store information about your theme. Now what do I need to do here? I want to make this theme. I don't want to go in more details of uh, theme and all. I just want to make the changes and just make this theme as per my layout or change the theme as per my layout. I don't like this blue color. So for targeting the look and feel, the size and everything, you have CSS, the HTML part or the CSS part. So defining the color, the sections, the broadness and all, all this is in the CSS files. Now where I'll get, how I'll change it. So if you can add a firebug or any a debugger or for your browser, you can easily get it there or you can just say view source and see what all images or things has been stored. So that is quite uh, difficult to just see, go to view source and go to each and section, each and every section. But if, if you are having a complete idea of HTML, you can easily do that. But if it is difficult, so just have a firebug or uh, the if you are using Chrome or I use a, a firebug uh, say debugger of your CSS and all and then just try to locate this is an inspector tool you just try to locate what I want to change this blue this blue line and all so what it is so if I click on body it will show me what this is so this body has a background image so I don't want this image. What do I need to do? I want to just get rid of this image. So here this tool will help you to locate where and which file and which line. So if I inspect this section, so this section is added, uh, a body section is having one you image in the background and some colors and also I don't want this image. So where I'll find this, this is in graphics.css file. And this file, because we are targeting a theme, this file you can get in your theme folder. So let me open that file. So it says that is in graphics. So I have here, I found here a graphics.css file. I'll just open it 
that will get open in any editor if you have notepad, dreamweaver, notepad++, edit plus or any other so you just open that CSS file and you can just easily work around with the CSS and all. Now what? Now it is the thing I want to change it is in a graphics.css file and it's on line 8 so I just because my editor is showing the line number out here here it is on line 8 this is been added now what do I need I don't need this background image so uh, for that what I can do I can create my own background image or I'll just remove the background image I don't want it I'll just get rid of it I'll just change the CSS for this you need a basic idea of the HTML and CSS so here I'll just say if you don't have then also you can just uh, have editor uh, which will help you to define the the terms in the CSS and how to use it so what I'm doing I'm just getting rid of the image and I'm just leaving the color so I can just use uh, the whatever it was there instead of adding the color I'll just say background what I want to do in the background I want to have a color but I don't want this image so let's delete the image save it and then just refresh your page it's gone now it has gone I have I've just changed the whole look and feel of the default theme by just doing some tricks if I you, if you don't want the uh, font uh, style and family and size and all you can just go to the target CSS file and then the section of that and then just change it now same I don't like this blue border so where it is just locate where it is this is page and this is utility so here I'll again need to okay in page div the border is there where it is here it is okay so this is again in graphics file line number 14 it is using this color so instead of this color I can use some other color as well so I'll go the graphics file and line number 14 okay it is here only so this is the color which it is showing I can select you can have any color editor or you can go to website or you can go to your Photoshop and just say whichever color you want I don't want this color I want to change it to some other color so if you have a color coder so you can select it from there or you can just easily type in whichever color you want these are the color codes so I'll save it and I'll just refresh it I just randomly refreshing it now it is somewhere coming to my layout or the target design but what it is on the home page it is still showing me this message now how to change my home page for that what you can do you can just get rid of this whole section from your home page from page TPL file or after promoting anything to your home page it will get uh, from here so that thing will come out here so what I'll do I'll have some welcome message on my website so for that I'll just go to the content create because that will be the static page static pages that doesn't mean that this is a static you can still make the changes in that so uh, here I'm just having some dummy text out here so I'll say contain okay and this is I'll give a tag as welcome and what I need to do I need to promote it to home page or a front page because home page is known as a front page in Drupal so let's see now if I'll go to travel store now my all the basic information or welcome information of the Drupal is being gone I'll just quickly show you how to create a view because we are running out of time out here so uh, as we have added created some content type we have added the content created notes we have uh, added a theme as per my requirement you can more customize the theme and all and then uh, the same way we have added the modules now let's have a view or create a block so now to know what all blocks are there in your theme you just go to the block section and it will show uh, it will show in a dark yellow color the region that means each yellow band is a region that means you can display something out here 
or you can go to the below table and there you have a drop down where you it will show you the region these are the default region of the drupal environment apart from that you can add more regions for that you just go to dot info file of your theme and add the, it will already show the regions uh, out there just add one more region and it will get popular added to this section and the page tpl uh, dot php that where to display that region so uh, here in my uh, this theme I have five region this is the footer region the contained region that means whatever I'm going to add this is going to add into this section this is the left sidebar and this is the right sidebar now what do I need I need to create some blocks for uh, whatever information I have added right now uh, in my content type called travel deals for that I'll just quickly create a view so view is not a core module uh, view is a contributed module so uh, what do you need to do you need to uh, download it so just go to your Drupal site and just download the view module as per your uh, package the Drupal package so I'm using a Drupal 6 so I have downloaded the view 6 point something so same way because it's a view you just download it and extract it where in your site all modules section okay I have extracted now to work with views first I need to enable a view 